each and every one of us leaves a legacy. Peace, King. Peace, King. How are you? How are you? I'm blessed, brother. Beautiful, How are you? beautiful, beautiful. So give us right your here. ideas of why you feel it's important for more Africans to be entrepreneurs. Well, we talk a lot today about jobs okay. and opportunity. And if you look at the numbers, small business creates most of the jobs. Okay. Most people think it's corporations that create the jobs. It's not a small business. Small business creates 75% of the new jobs in the economy. Now, that's one argument. The other argument is wealth. If you ask every millionaire on the globe how they made their millions, was it inheritance, was it the lottery, was it savings, was it investing, seven out of 10 will tell you they made their millions by owning a business. Wow, so you feeling that owning a business is the new key to major wealth for it the is, small time. It is arguably the only key. Okay. That if you want to have more wealth in the black community, mathematically you have to have more business owners. Because only three out of ten make it without owning a business. So which wow. means you're going to increase the number, you gotta have more of us, which means you gotta really get to the, to the young people, to the youth, yeah. to teach them that they can be their own boss. So when you say being your own boss, because there's this big video that Dan Gas is talking about being your own boss, I can't call someone my own daddy or whatever like that. Right. What were some of the steps that you could see that helped you out to be your own boss? Well, first I had an example. Okay. When I was in college, a friend of mine who I grew up with started his own business. Okay. And me seeing him do it made me say, if he can do it, I can do it. Okay. So I, if I had not seen him with my own eyes and, and could relate to him, uh -huh. I might have never envisioned myself as a business owner. No so I think the first thing is giving young people examples that they can relate to, that they can touch, that they can really, really understand that they can see reflections of themselves in entrepreneurship. It's not, it's not different than when they see athletes. No doubt. They see it, they can relate to it, they aspire to be it. So we gotta see, put more entrepreneurs in front of them, and then we gotta really tap into this energy, because this generation is really already, I think, inclined to want to be business owners. Okay. We just gotta give them the tools. Yes, sir. So my first book was Campus CEO for Student Entrepreneurs. Campus CEO. That's right, okay, no so doubt. I wanted to give young people what I did not have. I did not have anyone who walked me through what I had to do. I learn by making mistakes. Yes, sir. And now the book, I hope, will be a blessing to others that can hopefully not make the mistakes I made. So now you had time, you know, being on The Apprentice, working with Donald Trump. That's a very humbling experience from what everyone saw on TV. Do you feel that experience helped you become more hungry or that experience made you feel like, maybe I can't be my own boss? No, no, no. Well, I'd already started my own company before I did the show. Okay. So the show gave me a larger platform nice people perceive that folks go on the show to want to build a career with the trump organization okay that wasn't my agenda my agenda was to use that as an opportunity you to, had build, your plan. to build my platform <laughs> okay there you right? go and to grow my business yeah, no doubt right yeah. so that was really use the, the man to use the man there right? we go, there right, we go. There you so go. you got to come with your agenda know what you want and what i wanted was to go in learn the game and then hopefully be better at the game so i could build my own organization one thing that you feel that young people need to hear about going out there and grabbing their own business. I would just say, know that the sky's the limit. You know, the beauty of young people, particularly in entrepreneurship, is that they don't know what they don't know. Mm. Look at all the examples hey, hey, of young people. Too. Bill Gates started when he was in college. Yes, sir. Michael Dell started in college. Yes, sir. Facebook started by college students. Yes, sir. Google started by college students. And they students. didn't graduate. There you go. The majority of them graduate. There you go. But we're not saying don't go to school we're saying and not graduate. Get your degree. Get, get, get your degree. degree. But know that you're never too young, never too inexperienced to transform the world. So don't feel like you got to be someplace or be at a certain stage of your career. You got 16, 17, 18 year old millionaires and billionaires. So why not you? Why not you? Why not you? Appreciate you, King. Thank you. God bless you, King. Hey, that's words of encouragement. Be your own boss. Get out there. Grab it. Create your own destiny. Love.